Steve, Hillary Clinton made one of her first public appearances since she stepped down as Secretary of State. The former First Lady and Senator was in Falls Church today to endorse Terry McAuliffe, the Democrat running for governor in Virginia, and she got quite the reception. Some say it seemed like there were two candidates on the campaign trail at this event. Our Richard Reeve was there, and he joins us live from the newsroom now. Rich, this election is coming down to the wire. Yeah, Chris, that's right. We have just about two weeks left in this race between McAuliffe and Republican Ken Cuccinelli. Today's appearance, really no surprise. McAuliffe has known both Bill and Hillary Clinton for years and has raised hundreds of millions of dollars for their campaigns. But not everyone is pleased about this joint appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, Hillary Rodham Clinton. A bit of political star power for the McAuliffe campaign. Just absolutely exciting. Um, she's like a rock star to me. The former Secretary of State looking almost like a candidate, this time doing a favor. To enthusiastically endorse my friend Terry McAuliffe to be your next governor. No surprise for this Women for Terry event that issues like equal pay, abortion rights, and health care were big topics. Women's rights our human rights once and for all. Most hope this joint appearance will make a difference. Everything helps. I think it's important, one, to get out the vote and everyone to realize how serious this election is. But not everyone here is a fan. We need a good governor and Terry McAuliffe just isn't it. Cuccinelli supporters outside call McAuliffe a tax and spend Washington insider. Jobs, taxes, that's not what Terry McAuliffe is. You know, he, he wants to raise taxes. McAuliffe says Virginia can't afford to move Move backward. We must keep Virginia a leader in higher education. We must attract the best jobs in the world. Clinton says the nation is watching this race. Whether the voters of Virginia lead the way of turning from divisive politics, getting back to common sense and common ground. She's been in the political arena for quite some time. People know who she is. Now, right now, McAuliffe leads Cuccinelli in the polls and fundraising. McAuliffe raised about $6 million in September, Cuccinelli about $3 million. The women's vote is expected to be crucial in this race, so look for both candidates to be pushing hard in these last few weeks. In the newsroom, Richard Reeve, News Channel 8.